Hey guys, welcome to this short tutorial on how you can access the Hyperium Starship and disable its turrets. First, we'll have to travel to the Pencil Puddle Zone, where we will kill the sketchy dragon and get the weapon, J6's secret hideout map from it. Once you have it, head to the Dwayko Crash site and go into this building. Inside it, you will see a red button. Press on it, and it will drop the Dwayko decoder. Take it, and then head to the saloon zone. Go inside the saloon, and then make your way to the NPC J6. Talk to him and press on the button, I want items, then on the button I want to be your friend and lastly on the take quiz button. Now you will have to answer a few questions. The answers to the questions are as follows. Number 4 West Ion. Number 2 Joe Jingle. Number 1 Crystallized Dragon Breath. Number 4 Dual Revolvers Number 5 Green And lastly, Number 6 Thief Once you complete the quiz, you will get two options. Press the one that says, Take Coordinates and Accept the Item. Now if you equip the J6 Secret Hideout map and press on it, a map will open. In the bottom right corner you will see Coordinates. Move your mouse so that the coordinates are at 525 and 275 and then when the circle in the top left corner turns green, click with your mouse and you will be teleported to the Hyperium Starship. Now that you have accessed the zone, you no longer need to use the secret map to access the Hyperium Starship, as it is now accessible through your world map in the Sand Sea area. Now, if we walk inside the ship and try to head right, you will notice that the turrets will kill you and you won't be able to get past them. To solve this problem, first head to the Arkengrove zone and buy a few potions of evasion from Reens. After you have done that, head to the training hall and buy the rogue class from Matria. Equip it, and then also enhance your gear with the thief enhancement. After you've done that, head back to the Hyperium starship and drink the potion of evasion. Now, with a little bit of luck, you will be able to go past the turrets. Now, head right to J6 and click on his pocket. Once you do that, it will drop the VR room access card. Take it and head through the elevator door and press on the red button in the middle. Now, press on the screen and then on the Grand Theft Locomotive option. Doing that will teleport you to the Zephyrus zone. Click on Initiate, and after the cuts scene head into the third room, where an old man NPC is sitting and press on his pocket. Once you do that, you will get the engine room key card. Now head all the way to the first cart and walk through the door. Once inside the room, you will see a big furnace. Click on its door and then simply pull up the lever that is on the right side. Afterwards, press on the stone and you will get the virtual crystallized dragon breath. Now, press on the hatch that's on the right of the room and turn the handle with your mouse. Once you do that, you will get teleported on top of the train. Now all you have to do is walk all the way to the left. Once you reach the end, you will get a notification which says that you have completed the quest called Zephyrus End. Now, if you return back to the Hyperium, you will notice that the turrets are disabled. And that's all for this short tutorial guys. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See ya.